Hey guys, welcome to the Blacklist channel. Today we will be uh, heading over to Bob Grant's Automatics to drop off the BTR to get built. Um, he should only have it three days, he was saying, which is pretty awesome turnaround. Um, and then we're gonna come back and do a bit of painting on a few things. I just wanna paint a few things black, um, heat shields and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll give the fuel system a bit of a go as well. So at, currently we're just waiting for uh, parts to arrive. So I've got my atomic pistons and rods coming, or rebuild kits, so it comes with gaskets and things like that too. Um, I've got, I'm waiting on my head studs and valve springs from Dominator Motorsport as well. Due to COVID, it's just making the shipping so slow at the moment. It's just, it sucks when you're trying to get a motor finished. Like in time for power cruise, I've got three weeks or four weeks to get this all back together, tuned and everything. Um, tune date is the 2nd of September. So this is when it all has to be, you know, done. Um, fingers crossed I'm going to make the date, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so I'll take you inside now, show you where we're at and the progress we're at. And hopefully we can have a productive day today. All right, so currently it is a bit of a mess. Cars in absolute pieces, pistons all over the floor, things like that. Um, just because we're not using the pistons again, so it doesn't really matter too much if we drop them on the ground <laughs> which is you know it's good you don't have to be so careful but um i will show you where we're at we have pistons on the floor stripped down just got to pull the crank out All right, so we just loaded the box up, got it all up in the boot of the AU, and um, we're gonna head over to Bob Grant's now. So we just got back from Bob Grant's to dropping the BTR off. Uh, they asked me how much power I was gonna make. I'd already told them this, but I'd, a few of the other guys were standing around, they asked me how much power I was gonna make. I said, you know, we'll make 450, pretty easy. Um, and they all sort of just looked at me like, that box ain't gonna last. But we'll see. Um, I've, you know, when I had my ZF in my FG, I had that sitting on like 700 horsepower and that lasted for a couple of years. So it just depends how you drive them and how you treat them, things like that. So leaning onto the boost, not just kicking it down straight into it all, you know. I'm gonna hopefully get this to last. I plan on going turbo 400 next year. This is just to, you know, get me by for now and see how we go. All right, so we're gonna open up my box of goodies. So this has a lot of my um, bits and pieces in it that I've bought so far. I'll um, give you a look. Atomic parts. More atomic parts. There's the fuel pump. Uh, fitting kit. Should be some more fitting stuff. I believe that's it there. Extra fuel pump, wiring. And the twin pump plasma man bracket. Got the Process West surge tank out. I'm just gonna have a look at it, 
see how the new bracket fits up because I actually didn't realise this was processed west. Um, I had got a Plasma Man additional bracket and pump, but I'll just see how they fit. They might fit up fine. It looks like they're going to be the same sort of tank, so or same sort of surge tank, but we will have a look, um, lay all the parts out and go from there. It looks like the bracket will fit up, which is awesome. I was actually really worried about that because I just spent a fair bit of money on getting this upgraded kit. Um, so I will have to remove like these little things um, so that I can put a bolt through that'll thread into the plasma man bracket. But it's looking promising. Really happy with that, actually, really happy. So, Process West, Plaza Man, they fit up well. So if anyone's looking to do this upgrade, even the bolt holes line up. I'm just gonna have to drill them out a little bit to make that bigger size. But other than that, should work really well. Stoked with that. Just gonna drill out these holes um, so we can fit up the dual pump mount. So I'm just heli-coiling the threads in at the moment. Um, there was a slight variation in the thread, but... Being alloy, it just... It's like hot knife through butter. Alright, for anyone that's doing this, the bracket is actually offset, so I didn't realise. I just went to put the pump on and it was like, it didn't fit, um, didn't line up properly, but I just had a look at it and they're offset, so hopefully once I switch this around, We should be all good. I was just putting the plasma man to the outside, but it seems like it's going to go to the inside now. <clears throat> Which, you know, no one can see it now. You lose those extra kilowatts because no one can see your Plasma Man bracket on your Process West surge tank. All right, let's try this again. We're back here under the car. Um, got the fuel pump mounted up um, just doing a bit of the wiring now so it is back in place i'll give you a look so we got the twin pumps on there got that bit wired up Uh, 
I'm just going to chuck this up in here and go from there. So we'll get up there into the top half and wire this into the fuse box, the little pink wire, which will turn the pump on when the ignition comes on. So I'm just going to run the wiring cross. I'm just going to follow the wiring that was already here when I bought this car. Which was up along the back here, down into here. Then we've got we'll tap into this as well. All right, so I've got the relays hooked up. We've just got to solder this pink wire. That'll turn the pumps on when the ignition comes on. Um, I'm just going to tap into the existing one here. So I do have to solder that, but I'm not going to at the moment. Um, fuel system, twin 044s all hooked up. Still got to finish it off with the uh, fuel rail and the fuel reg once the motor goes back in.